Welcome to the Age of the Ring mod for BFME 2, The Rise of the Witch King on the version 8.3 which was dropped very recently. And for that reason, we're gonna take a look into every single faction this mod has to offer. Solo, Skirmish, and there are so many factions dude. Gondor, Rohan, Erebor, Lothlorien, Rivendell, Woodland Realm, Mordor, Isengard, Misty Mountains, Dol Guldur, and Haradwit. So from the top to bottom, we're gonna start with the Gondor faction. And when it comes to the difficulty, I was trying once, only once, to beat the Death March and holy guacamole, I got completely destroyed, okay? So, I mean, I need to be honest with you, I'm not good in this mod yet, okay? And for that reason, I'm gonna choose the Captain difficulty. Hopefully, I will pull this off, because my goal here is not to win only, but I also wanna showcase you everything that is important about the Gondor faction, and for that reason I need some time. And the Death March doesn't give me any time, you know, they are attacking me constantly, dude. And that's not good. Anyways, let's get the game number one started on the map Holdin, okay? So I like to get some eco at the beginning of the game, that's very important. And also these farms are increasing our command points by 50, so we will need the command points to keep producing units and of course also heroes and look at this beauty man this looks juicy dude so beautiful so beautiful looks like a game before me game meet in 2024 you know so i need like 95 percent is okay more 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 so as you can see we had 200 to begin with now we have two farms and our command points are up to 300 and after these two farms, it's going to be 400. And once they reach, lo uh, reach level 2, they will also increase our command points by another 25, I believe. I'm not sure though. I think they also will give you more money and command points. For that reason, it's very important to keep your structures protected. The structure's ready. One thing to mention is, I kind of don't like the AI from Bifimi to Rise of the Witch King because most of the time, this AI will just ignore your army <laughs> and go for your structures, you know? I don't like this one. Let's go like this, okay. Barracks archery range. So we get some units up on the field. And from the power point, we have the chance to pick the skilled healers. That's pretty much like healing. Then we have the restoration for repair. And the captain's horn, which is basically like a rallying call for this faction Gondor, okay. We need the buff though. We need the buff to deal more damage. You can give numbers to your structures by selecting them and, you know, pressing Ctrl-1, Ctrl-2. And then by just pressing 1 or 2, you can select them and set waypoints by right-clicking on the ground. Okay, alright. Wish me best of luck, boys, because I'm so bad at this mode. Okay, my phone was ringing. It's not yours. It's mine. Where are we building? Okay. Let's go here. Like this, and one more farm, maybe here behind. Let's go like um, this. Okay, now we should good, we should have good money. That's pretty important too. Let's get the Lamedon clansmen, which are pretty much like swordmen, I believe. And from this, we will get the whale archers. Okay. Need more, so more archers and more uh, of the swordmen, just to feel a bit more safe. Here they come. I knew it. What is this actually? I like Swartman. And you see what I'm talking about? They are straight up going for the structure. Immediately. Not hesitating. I want to build this actually. I think it's very important structure. Let's build it like this. It gives us healing and also uh, leadership. The monument of Elendil. We need more eco. Maybe here up. Let's go like... Uh, this 90% is okay and keep producing more tier 1 units and later on we will also need to recruit uh, tier 2 units but first of all let's get a pikeman up on the field uh, just in case he might go for the horses and one more archer so I have three battalions of archers one battalion of swordmen and also one pikeman you know so let's take a look into the fortress here we have the chance to get the palanty of the white tower but it requires the Tower of Ethereum upgrade and it will reveal the entire shroud for 30 seconds. Then we have the chance to go for the Mountain Guards and Star Wars Defense. 
And here are the upgrades. We can start with the cheapest one, which is the Banners of the White Tree. It will give leadership to the units around the fortress from us. And also, heroes will cost less. And their recruit time will also be lower. So it's pretty good investment, because we will be recruiting every single hero from the game. From this faction. And it should be good. Just good. Okay, I'm going to build also a blacksmith. I think it's pretty important, but we kind of screwed up a little bit. I want to get it like maybe... 47? And let's go like this, what can I say? Okay, so let's go for the level 2 archer range. And the next structure I want to build is the marketplace, you know? Increase the resource from the farms by 12%, it's pretty good. It's a good investment because we have now plenty of farms, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 farms, so it's like 70, 70, 84 percent more resources, pretty good, you know? Okay, we have a good defense over here, I'm assuming. Let's get the front line here with the whole ground stands in the front and the archers behind. And here we can build now the marketplace. Build it like this, that's good. And this player, I mean this builder, not player, <laughs> can actually try to build one more farm, but I think it's kind of dangerous. Maybe we can try to move up a little bit here. Build it maybe here, okay. So now we have the upgrade on the fortress, which is the banners of the white tree. And for that reason, our hero is going to be quite cheap. I mean, not very cheap because it kind of still costs 4,500, but he usually costs 5,000. And we can also recruit Boromir, Paramir, Denethor, the son of Ectilion, Beregond, and Forlong. Okay, they have plenty of heroes actually. That's pretty good. What happened? If you wanted to build the farm there, man, just build it. Look, they are straight up going for the structures. Let's go for the level 3, because I would like to recruit the Italian Rangers. And also here we can go to level 2. Okay, Marketplace is com coming in clutch, as you can see and tell. And my builder over here, mm, I'm pretty tempted to build a tower here and also here. If I can, you know. Okay, so let's go now for the stable 2, it's the production building number 3, because I would like to know which units are inside the uh, stable. But the difficulty difference between this captain and the death march is actually very big. When I was trying to beat the death march, I was getting overwhelmed in like 2 minutes into the game. But this one is, you know, pretty weak, <laughs> at least for now. Can I go for upgrade here? Let's go for this one, just why not? It's a good investment, 650. And Pippin, going to be the first hero. Barracks level 2. Let's go Spearman of Minas Tirith and Soldiers of Minas Tirith. Kill those arch. What is this actually? Ooh, what is this? Some shenanigans. Go Pippin! What, what is this structure doing? Awaken tree. I don't know what this actually does. does. We stand ready to My farm! Upgrade. Ah, you need Farami to recruit these guys, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, good. Now they are coming, huh? Now they are coming, boys. Pipi in throw rocks, keep your distance. Should be able to win this fight. Now we have finally enough money for Faramir, because I would like to recruit this Ethelian Rangers, but the requirement is to have Faramir on the field first. Okay. There's a hero. 
Who is this guy? He has armor around himself. He's quite tanky though. We are losing this fight so hard. Holy. Oh my god, I'm dying over here. A bit sick, you know? Okay. I mean, not okay. Faramir, where are you, man? I'm gonna go for the restoration. I'm getting steamrolled here, by the way, guys. They are destroying me. Parami, come, 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 come. Go for the bow. This guy is un unkillable or what? This guy is unkillable or what, guys? I don't know what's going on. Let's get some rangers. PP, no! They are coming now all of a sudden from every location. Everywhere. Oh my god, they're everywhere, boys. I think we also lost both the builders. Holy. If swords too? That's sexy, man. Attack, 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 attack. Go, go, go. Help, help, help. Luckily, they didn't destroy this well. That's pretty good. Uh, however, we need to get some knights. Oh man, they're everywhere. Let's get one more of these archers. Come on. They cost 600 though, but I think we need them regardless. Let's go here. I don't want to lose this farm really, but I think I have no choice. And also we need to get some builders actually for 400. We lost both of them. I'm so bad at this game, I told you boys. I told you. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. You are the spearman of Minas Tirith. You are tanky and expensive. You can go back to heal. The sword for its Only that Don't die, please. We've I need you. Stay behind. You want to finish me off? But I won't let this happen, boys. I won't let this happen. Okay. So now we need one more builder. And we need to replace the farms we have lost. We have lost one farm here, actually. And one farm also we lost here. Get more rangers. Does this guy have leadership? Yeah, he does. No, it's not It's not leadership. But we can summon reinforcements. Let's do this. You can also get him mounted, of course, you know. Spearman of Minas Tirith. Go back a little bit. Now we have good army here. Oh, we summoned him. Unborn. Okay. Power point wise, it's not looking too hard for us either. So we have, we, we choose this area. Now we can go only this. We can't choose this one. Even though I would like to summon the Oath of Air Earl, which is like the Rohirrim special summon from the Gondor spellbook. And in the ultimate one, we can summon Eagles or we can summon the Return of the King. Basically, King Elessar can be summoned. I'm going to get this actually. For that reason, I need to get, first of all, these power points, okay? That's my plan over there. Um, okay, so let's replace this farm over here as well. So we have a bit more command points. I'm going to build a tower right here. Let's get this. We are still kind of poorish. Okay, we can go charge attack. But what is the blacksmith doing? It's still only level 1. We have 10 power points now, that's good. So now... Okay, this is like a land. Trebuchet, not bad. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna go for the trebuchet, actually. One more here. Now stop going ham, boy. Okay. Tell me again why I came. Pippin. Nice. Okay. I want to get more heroes. I want to get Gandalf. But let's get Forlong first. Okay. 
the cheapest to the most expensive one. Now we have a couple of archers, so that's pretty good. Let's go back a little bit only. Okay, blacksmith is still level 1. Heal up a little bit, that's pretty good. Let's go for one more well, so they can recover a bit faster. They are coming from everywhere again. What is happening, man? This tree is knocking down my units on the, on the ground all the time. Level 7, Halfling Courage. Nearby heroes gain experience 33% faster. That's pretty good. I like that one. And my Forlong is a melee hero. Uh, Lord of Lossanek. <laughs> Leadership for the units. Fifth Tom units. And Vitality. More damage for himself. And True Heart, True Friend. Oh, you can make your hero tankier. Develop faster. And make his power point powers also recharge faster. Let's, take a walk. Come on. Let's go like this. Make this, make this. Okay. Now we are cooking money though. Now we are cooking money and I like that one. I like that one actually. Okay. Because we have now good army. I think we can now start uh, recruiting more heroes and stop making more units. Let's go for Beregont. Next. The problem is they also cost command points, right? Because, no. It doesn't say anything about the command points they cost. So maybe they don't cost command points. I'm not sure. Let's creep this. And also Denitor. Denitor and Faramir side by side, you know? Just like in the good old days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this guy is actually hitting very hard. He has like a very strange weapon too. Look at him. He looks like a tower guard, an old tower guard with an axe in his hands. Oh, Builder, don't lie, please. I'm better gone. My farm, no, my farm. Go, go, go. Defend. Defend the white city. With all what you have. What is it? Alright, this is Beregont. Looks like this. Looks like a little bit like Aragorn, right? Like a cheaper version of Aragorn. You can also use with uh, fight with sword and bow. And has also plenty of abilities. And now we have also Denethor up on the field. That's good. Let's re retreat a bit around the well so we can recover our HP mark. HP bar, and we can also build more farms here. So we are in a kind of good spot. What is this actually? I want to try to get this one with Pippin. Oh, there is a ram now. They are going for the siege. Let's go for the level. Nah, I'm not gonna go for this. I want to get more heroes up on the field first. Let's go for Boromir, who is quite expensive in this game. Recruit the captain of the White Tower. Let the armies of Mordor know this. Never again will the land of my people fall into enemy hands. Boromir 2024. What is this actually? Hmm. Capture to recruit special regional reinforcements. Hmm. Okay. Let's go for. Nah. I'm gonna go for Ganna first. There they are. Now they are coming, boys. I don't like this. They are coming. Hunters of the Chetwood. We need to see this unit. They are also very cheap. They cost only $300. So pretty cheap units. I like this one. But now they are coming, dude, from this area. Also some Galadrim warriors are coming. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is place one of these archers inside this tower, just to feel a bit more safe, because I think this tower is a, bit, is a goners. I'm really trying to save up for Gandalf. But these warriors are looking very dangerous to me. I'm winning this fight actually, what is this, is a hero? 
I build this dead, I know, I know. Come on, I have enough money now for Gandalf, boys. Let's go! We have also 18 power points. Now, we can go for the best dungeons. Cancels Freezing Rain. I think that's like a Cloud Break kind of thing. Stuns enemies for 15 seconds. The basically Cloud Break. Or we can go for the Dol Omroth Citadel. And I think that's gonna be my choice. Because I can summon a Cita. Which is going to be quite tanky, I'm assuming. And now we can rotate to this location. We shall remain hidden there. And from this, we can recruit more units, including a hero, Imrahil. What about my breakfast? Can I have some bacon? We've upgraded the fortress. These horse arches are outranging me. And I don't like this. I need to defend this first, actually. Pippin has fallen. I don't care. Peregrine took. You follow for took. Oh no, I wanted to repair this, boys. They are melting me. Go, go, go. Back, 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 back. Let's go for Imre Hill. What is this? Need this one as well for more tankiness. We mustn't let them close. Spies of the enemy. A restoration and Captain's Horn. Oh, Gandalf is here, boys. Me, Frandio. Let's go. Let's get this tank here a bit. And he can get mounted with level 1 too. I like this. I like this. He's kind of the white, right off the bat. You shall not pass. It's like Word of Power. Flame of Anor is history. And what this is, we have no clue, but we will read it. Blast them. I'm pressing W, man. Why is he dying so fast? Holy. Don't tell me he's dead in a second, boy. Oh, they are coming for my Gandalf, but he's healing up, that's good. Um, do we have any more hero? Nope, we don't. But I think it's now time to get Forge Bleeds and Heavy Armor. My Gandalf is dying. Don't die, please. Now they are kind of... Ooh, hold on a second. We found the one rink. Okay. All right. I like this one. Build a, build a farm right there. And what can we do with the one ring, though? Let me take a look into this. Okay. Throw the baggins, it is, actually. And by the way, we are getting smashed. Now all of a sudden we are getting smashed. Let's go back a little bit. I mean, this army is so strong from them. Holy. Let's go for level 3, so it's going to be tankier. Hold on, we have now enough, enough power points. I think it's the perfect time to call in the King Elizar himself. Kamaragorn. And he's going to be permanent too. That's even better, man. Oh boy, they are coming in. Clutch. Let's get fire arrows, more, more, more. We are kind of broke. And I think it's time for our own structure. Attack them, man. Where's my gander of it? Blast him. Oh, I'm right clicking. I'm beefing you on play. You know, I'm right clicking all the time. I'm like, what is why is this not working? <laughs> because I'm right clicking all the time, you know? 
Rangers. Let us scout for Gondor. Be alert, Rangers. I mean, he killed, destroyed my siege warrix now. That's very bad for me. Okay, let's go for a counter attack a bit. I prefer big bones to tell you the truth. Ooh, what is this? I mean, he gets he gains more damage and armor for 30 seconds, and nearby units get are immune to debuffs and knockbacks. That's pretty good. Let's heal up a bit. And let's go for the ring hero, Frodo Baggins, shall we? Let's go for it. And also, of course, Pippin. Also very important. Now we have enough power points to go for the... Um, I think we're gonna go this way. So we can choose this power points too. Let's go for this. That's how the land is looking like. You can place it if you want. It's like basically Alvin Wood. Our army here will be stronger. Oh, there is like a animal. Let's go also for the heavy armor and banner too. Just why not? Gandalf, don't I? Let's blast them, Gandalf. What is this thing here actually? I can't attack it. It's immune to damage or what? Maybe Farami can do something about this? One arrow on him? Oh my god, unkillable thing. Frodo Baggins is here and he can he can call his friend. Oh my god, we have so many heroes. It's a hero party. It's a hero party. Hobbits ranked uh, number three. You guys, come back a little bit. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but it's absolute fiesta. Now they are attacking me also from this location. Defend! Defend, Gandalf! Don't, lo don't let them destroy the farm, please! Blast them into the next dimension! Take this! Okay. I mean, this thing is unkillable. How am I supposed to kill this dude, you know? So he has abilities. It's like the scaring away. Oh, but he has leadership like crazy, this guy. And I like this one. Let's get more melee units too. And what I like to do here is I'm gonna go for the siege walls one more time. I think we need the catapults. But I think it's time to just Q and A click. Let's Q and A click. Now we are very strong. 18 power points. You know what time it is. We can go for the cloud break, but let's not do this. Let's go for the Rohirrim special summon, shall we? Four Veiling Girls! Just go, 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 go! <laughs> Q, the legendary button, the most used button of the game. Q button. Just press Q and go ham. Give them everything. Don't give them anything. But take everything from them. Boromir. I didn't even take a look into Boromir. Let's use the Horn of Gondor. But Boromir is looking different in this one. Look at him. He has like very heavy armor. For Gondor. Oh, this is looking very good actually. But also this Woodland Realm faction, holy, look at the fortress from them. They have like this ballista on the field. The fortress is looking very good. Dolom Roth Citadel, right here on the, uh, on, the, on the dot. Let's get this, this. But the fortress of the enemy has been destroyed. 
I would like to get these eagles too, if possible. Let's try to not finish them off a little bit. We need still a bit more time. Let's get this. Let's get this level 3. My Pippin is almost dead. Big rolling hole. Let's now fight a little bit. Now we can fight. I mean, we have so many summons and stuff. Oh, look, I want to test this actually. That's a very interesting ability from Beregond. So you can use this on your friend, on your own hero, this ability. And if you do this. Dude, stop! But he doesn't suffer a heavy damage. Just lost a bit of health, but that's it. But look, fierce lo loyalty. So Boromir and Pippin and Faramir will get more st stronger when this guy is around them. Hold on, Pippin! Hey man, stop it, guys. Gollum! Master's Guide. Smeagol is passively staffed unless he attacks. And ring his filthy little neck. Oh, passive ability too. Smeagol. I like it, Smeagol. I mean, crazy animations happening. Hard to follow up everything. But we have almost the power points we need. Look, do you see what I'm talking about? They're ignoring my army and just going for the structures. Look at them! Stop it, man! Let's build one more fortress, because we have so much money, we can do whatever we want. Garden of Italian, let's use it here. Oh, it also summons archers when you use it. Okay, that's interesting. You know what I'm wondering? Because Aragon is permanent, right? Hold on, we can also summon the EOD. I forgot about that one. Aragon, where are you, my friend? How is it looking like? Ah, it's uncontrollable. So they are just running into one direction. Okay. Interesting. Let's summon the eagles. It was an eagle hero who has the wings like hurricane. Let's try to use it. This eagle is looking big. Big eagle. Oh my god, man. This is kind of fiesta. Look, this eagle is like a big one. Is the bird? Is the plane? I don't know. Let's go ham. Let's go with everything that we got now, boys. Q, A, click. Q A click. We can we could also go for some trebuchet just to destroy the structures a bit faster. But I think we are in a good spot. Let's go for the healing now. Just in case my some of our heroes might get hurt. I wanna see the Easter light animation. I, I don't think we can get him to level 10 in this game. Again, I've used the Easter. -y. It's pretty basic. Easter, -y, they didn't change too much about that one. Oh my god, my eagle. Can I heal him, actually? I'm wondering. Let me take a look into this. No, you can't heal eagle. It's not possible. Can I Can I repair him? <laughs> I can't repair him either. It's not a structure. All right. For Gondor. And knife throw. Throw knife on the structure. Take this knife. I mean, there, there is so much content which you can't really show in one single game. That's legit not possible. It's legit not possible. This video could be one hour longer than it already is, you know? Just go for the structural damage. 
I could also go for these upgrades so I can use the Tower of Ectelion to see the whole map to see what I need to destroy. Hey, Denitor, don't die. Don't die, Denitor. If you can survive this, I will bring Boromir to you. I promise. I promise, Denitor. If you can survive this, okay. You deserved a meeting. Ah, uh, sorry, Denitor. But we are already victorious. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. We have still many, many more factions to cover in the following days. So let me know if you want to see more Age of the Ring content in the comment section down below. And also, quick question which of these factions is your most favorite? I don't know yet because I have not seen. I think that's a brand new faction, Harat Wait. So we're going to take a look into this one as well. But there are so many changes they have done to all existing factions. And also, if you didn't hear it, they will also make the Lord of the Rings campaign for Return of the King. So far, you can only play the Lord of the Rings and the Fellowship of the Ring and also the Two Towers. And they also will make the Return of the King, which of course is quite time consuming. I don't know when it's going to be finished. But hopefully during this year 2024 but let's see anyways if you enjoyed you know what to do see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys